Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In this video, we're going to cover Dogmost, which is an open source collaborative wiki and documentation software. It's very similar to Notion, but it's open source. So, that being said, let's get started. So, we have already installed it, as you can see here. So, it is very, very similar to Notion. As you can see, there's uh, things that you can add. Um, there is a, a to-do list that you can create. So, and the structure is also very similar to Notion. If you create pages and also click uh, to create another page under the current page, uh, as you can see here. So, which is very cool. And uh, in their documentation, uh, it recommended to use Docker. But in this video, we're going to show you how to build it using Kaggle step by step for free without any Docker. So, that being said, Let's continue. So first, we need to create a Google notebook. Then we create a function to run bash command within Python, and then install Node.js. So we need to upgrade Node.js because Google has a older version. So using the steps listed here to actually upgrade Node.js and to a stable version, and then also install pmpm, and that should be it. So then we have to install Postgres, and so first to uh, do apt install. With the PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL contrib, and then you can check the clusters if they're up or not. So um, then you can also do a um, PostgreSQL start. This will start PostgreSQL. So as you can see here, this is actually uh, running. It is starting, and then you can check status. It is online. Then we have to create uh, a user. Uh, so we just use PostgreSQL, and password is also PostgreSQL. And after that, create a database called Dogmost. Um, that should be it. So this is how set up Postgres with um, Kaggle. And then we need to also install Redis because uh, the Docmost also needs Redis. So follow the official documentation of Redis and install it. And it's very straightforward. Then we need to install Redis client. After that, uh, make sure you use uh, tunneling. So there's two ways to do it. The one uh, we're using for this demo is local tunnel. You can also use ungrok as we demo in the other videos. Uh, so if you use local tunnel, just do apm install local tunnel, then uh, do a lt dash dash port 80. So make sure it is write the file to output that txt as a backend process. Then you can check out the public URL as we always uh, do it in ungrok. It's a little bit different, but similar. As you can see, the public URL is deep clocks thick. Uh, this is the one that we already set up, as you can see here. And then uh, just do a curl command to get the my term password. So you don't need to create an account. Just uh, you run this command locally to get the password, and that should be it. Then after that, uh, just do a install docmost, and uh, just do a git clone and cd to docmost. You should be able to uh, get to the uh, installed uh, GitHub repo. After that, uh, change the byte configuration.ts. This will update the front end. So make sure you also change this allow host to true uh, or edit if it doesn't have it. Uh, this will allow the public URL access. And after that, make sure you do npm install to install all the dependencies. Then uh, make sure you create a .environment variables and paste the public URL you created from local tunnel to here. So app URL is the public URL you created just now. Then and also you have to update app script using the open SSL R A N D and hex32 to create this app secret, which is recommended in here. After that, uh, just make sure uh, you do a editor build. So this is needed. So just for pmpm, do a wrong darkmost editor ext and build. And that will build the editor. And after that, make sure you run a server migration. This will uh, migrate all the databases, tables, so, as you can see here, after that, uh, just do a uh, supervisor install uh, because we need to run everything in the backend. So, make sure you install supervisor. After that, uh, create three files uh, for supervisor. Uh, first is a Redis configuration, and then this will sp spin up the Redis server. Then you create a Dogmos server as backend API service. So, this will uh, just run pmpm and then go to this directory and then do a run server.dev. And that should be it. So we are basically building a development version, so not production. So just use the uh, docmos wrong server.dev. 
and make sure you also add the logs as well so you can check that later then you uh, add the configuration for the front end which is stock most fe then do the same thing uh, for the server but change the uh, command line to run client dev that should be it then you do a supervisor stop start and status you can check the supervisor is running and also you can see these other services that you created are running as well and then you just um, do install nginx so that's the last thing you need to install make sure very importantly you create a doc most nginx file then you map all the paths so first you map the default path to the 5173 this is a front end and then you also need to map all these different paths to the back end so for the api map to localhost 3000 that's the back end port then map the uh, web socket also to the localhost 3000 collab to the localhost 3000 and socket io to localhost 3000 as we're showing here very important then i uh, do an nginx stop and start this will start nginx so that should be it so this is how you set up doc most on kago uh, without docker for free and then you can go to the public url as we demo earlier in this video so and you can see here so this is how you set up then you can test it just create a page and also just uh do a slash this will allow to test all the features which is super cool you can test mermaid diagram you can test uh youtube videos and a figma loom and add headers add to-do list add code uh, and images so yeah that should be it hopefully this is helpful and if you want to know how to use local kernel uh, just go to the github rebel they have very good documentation here and also you can see there's a lot of people using it so that being said hopefully this is helpful if you do like this video please subscribe like or comment if you have any questions thank you so much for supporting the channel see you in the next one